told you are placed in like Qualcomm from the IIT on campus. So this is was your first company or like you have applied for other companies as well as in the IIT Kanpur before this? Uh, so basically, since I was the department placement coordinator from my department, so uh, like since all the top BLSI companies do visit in the IIT Kanpur in this year as well. Like if I uh, say Intel, Qualcomm, then Texas, um, then Micron, Nvidia. So these are the companies visit uh, in IIT Kanpur. So okay. in the um, day one slot one, uh, the interviews are going on for the companies like uh, Intel and Qualcomm. Um, and also the um, Texas Instruments. So these, for these three companies, uh, the interviews are happening in the uh, day one slot one. And in the slot two, the other companies like uh, Micron and then NVIDIA and uh, Matrix, these are for these companies, uh, the interview is going on in the uh, slot two. So for me, I have only given only one interview because that was my first interview. And in the first interview only, I was selected. So there was no need to give any other interview. So in the IT country, the system is like, um, if you're the, the first preference company in your place, first preference company, if you're selected, then you will not be uh, like allowed to participate in any other company fact forward. So that's the reason that I haven't given any other interview in on campus specific. Also, you have to join like uh, also Placed in Cadence, right? Uh, as you mentioned. Yes. So yes. Yes. How it, it was campus or off campus? Uh, it was off campus. It was before actually um the placement uh phase. Uh, before that only I was placed uh through off campus procedure. It was just basically through the referral procedure. So I um I have approached uh, some people from the LinkedIn and from there only I have got the referral in Cadence and from there I have got the interview call directly. No inter uh, written test or not directly the interview call. It was for the internship or full time? In the Cadence? No, it was it was for full time. It was for full which domain? Uh, in VLSI only. In VLSI. Okay, okay. So off campus, you approached some of your alumni or like a random people or managers? No random people only. I random have just uh, searched for uh, mm -hmm. the people who is probably the uh, principal engineer or manager. Yeah. These people I have searched for. And mm -hmm. then I have just uh, messaged them in the LinkedIn. Okay. How many days it have taken for you to get the call after applying in Cadence? Uh, the moment the person has seen my message. So I have messaged her um, like the day after that I have messaged her. Uh, I think after one week or two weeks, uh, she has seen the, my message. The moment she has seen my message, the day after that only I have received the call from her. Okay. And what are the important topics for the cadence interview that you have given off campus? Yeah, so that was more of a, a role for the EMI or uh, profile. So EMI or profile is morely uh, about the backend. So yeah, that was the, the domain. So that's the reason that the interview was more of the, that particular domain. So they have asked questions from the basics as well, but uh, they have gone deep in that particular domain as well. Like, uh, have you used the EMIR tool or not? Uh, what type, What is EMIR drop? How to uh, reduce that particular drop? So more of that domain, so they have asked questions. So from where you have learned this topic, like EMR is like hardly anyone is hardly people know about these things right yeah, they, yeah. those are your planning part planning st all these things yes yes the moment i have received the call i have asked them to give the uh, like jd and from JD. the jd only i have seen these topics otherwise i would have known, yeah, uh, like exactly. they know these topics so from the jd only i have known this topic and after that i have just searched in um online that mm -hmm. uh, and learned those topics from the online uh, also, you are the departmental training TNPO, right? Or yeah, department placement coordinator, basically. Yeah. So, you can explain your role, like uh, how is the selection process and uh, what are the challenges you have faced during this period? Yes, yes. Uh, so, basically, in IIT Kanpu, there are some higher ranking in uh, the uh, placement scenario. So, first is uh, there are seven numbers of um, overall placement coordinators. Um, and uh, among those seven, five of them are from the BTEC, and the remaining two are from the Masters. So, this is the ratio. For oh, overall one branch is seven. One branch is seven, right? No, no, no. Uh, it's overall. So overall, overall, there will be only seven uh, placement coordinators. So amongst them, um, five of them will be BTEC and the remaining two will be masters. And after that, um, there are uh, some assistant placement coordinators. And after that, there is a hierarchy for the department placement coordinators. So it depends from uh, some department. There are two department placement coordinators from some department. If there are one de uh, department placement coordinators, it entirely depends upon the strength of the department. Mm -hmm. 
applies to the PC, then it will be to the PC. So about the role, um, the major role is for uh, for the like Google of placement coordinators. Um, for us, the major role is to like provide a more companies contact to the um SPO and also to verify the resume and to talk to HR to open those companies for us. So these are the main major roles for the DPCs. Other things handle uh, other things are handled by the OPCs only. Mm -hmm. And how you managed everything, like you are like doing the project under professor also, colleges also, uh, T, yeah. uh, training and placement uh, coordinator also, and you are preparing for the placements also. So how you manage yes. all this? Um, so, uh, I would say for if we if you are the overall placement coordinators, then it will be hectic to manage both the things, all the things. Uh, but for the DPC, it's not that much hard because for us, the main uh, work is to do the resume verification, and um, that's only for two to three days. So two to three days hard work will be required to just do the resume verification. Another time you can just give for the placement preparation. So uh, usually, um, what happens in the thesis, the supervisor uh, are quite uh, cooperative to give the time that like last like six months for the placement time uh they give the students to like prepare for the placement most of the cases so there will not be any issue to manage the thesis uh for most of the most of them and about the dpc work the most work most of the dpc work is to do the resume verification so that that's not that much hard to manage basically okay okay and uh the companies are coming in the slot like uh first second third so one day one day two three, day three so yes. how long the period is going on like day 10 or day 20 like what is the time yeah. uh so first of all the written tests are going on let me just start from the like written test so written tests are started from the so the last of the September, the end of September, the written, written tests are going on. And after that, for the core companies, the main, main written test will be from uh, around October to November. And after that, at the December only, uh, the interviews will be started. So the day one starts from uh, the 30th November night. Uh, from 12th, uh, the, uh, the interview will be started, the slot one interview. And uh, it will go till um, 8 a.m the next day the first december it will go till 8 a.m and um, after the like the 8 a.m the results will be uh, like declared for the slot one whatever people will be selected for those um, the result will be declared after the 8 a.m and uh, the next slot or the slot two will be started from the 12th or uh, 12 o'clock at the first december so in this way the slot two same thing will be for day two as well like uh, the first december uh, night 12 o'clock will be the uh, slot one of day two so in this way the Okay. There must be people who are like getting in the day one, let's say five companies are coming, they are selecting two, three companies. Yes. So what is yes. the process, how they try to uh, No, it will not be a case because um, before any interview slot, uh, the SPO will provide us the uh, like preference order. So we can uh, give the preference that this is my preference one, two, three in this way for any slot. Um, if you are selected in the first preference company, then you will not be able to give interview in any other company. But if okay. you are selected in preference two, then one option will be given to you that whether you want to select the or give the interview for preference one or not. So then only that option will be given. And also, yeah, uh, same companies coming like uh, in their separate seasons, like first season, second season, trend third season. So same companies yeah. is coming again and again. Like uh, I was hearing like AMD is coming in the third time in the AD company. Uh, you are talking about the phase one, phase two. Uh, so basically, yeah, phases, in, yeah, phases. Yeah. So phase one uh, is mo the most uh, the the most important uh, one is the phase phase one. So most of the companies visit in IIT Kanpur in phase one only. So in phase two, uh, some of the companies, I would say that if phase one or uh, ten companies are visiting, then in phase two, amongst the ten, uh, probably five of those companies will visit in phase two. Uh, some like unique cases are there, like one to two companies will uh, visit, can visit in phase two as well, uh, which were not participating in phase one. So that can happen, but most of the time, the less number of companies uh, will be visiting phase okay. two. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, so how is the life at will, uh, like uh, IIT Kanpur? So how is the fest there? Like there are a lot of fest, cultural fest are there. So how uh, is the life? Every now and then, uh, fest are going on in the IIT Kanpur. So the the IIT Kanpur life is very, very good. So especially I'd say the nightlife is very uh, good in IIT Kanpur. Um, other than that, you can also engage in other activities as well. Other than the academics, you can also engage like any sports or yoga. Uh, these activities you can also engage yourself. So from those perspective as well, this is very good. 
ओके ओके एंड व्हाट डू यू थिंक अबाउट द बेसिकली द टूल नॉलेज राइट बेसिक द थिंग इज लॉट ऑफ एनाइटिंग स्पेंड जस्ट गो थ्रू द थ्योरी 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 बट दे डोंट प्रैक्टिस इन द टूल सो व्हाट व्हाट इज योर व्यू ऑन दिस लाइक दे शुड डू द लाइक 50 50% 40 60% व्हाट व्हाट दे शुड दे शुड डू uh according to me uh, they should prepare the tool as well not for the interview yeah yeah interview they can ask but uh, for yourself because whenever you are studying something say for example i am taking very long so if i am studying something in very long i'll not understand uh, until the moment i am trying that particular thing the tool so after that only you'll understand the meaning of those lines otherwise very little little tricky thing you will not understand if you're not practicing that in the tool so in that perspective this is very important not for the interview but for your understanding the tool experience should matter in it yeah uh, so thank you uh, thank you shushi uh, so in the end you want to say something about vlsa for all or about the vlsa industry uh, or anything you want to say in the end yeah so i'll say that um, i'm also fresh a student so i'm also uh, the first thing that uh, they intrigued me in the very log in the sorry in the vlsi was that um, i was very intrigued in this technology i wanted to learn very uh, i am not also i don't know right now as well that most of the things i don't know but i want to learn in this particular field so first of all uh, any anyone who is watching me so i'll i'll suggest that first of all understand whatever you want that like you want to want to go in which particular domain first of all understand yourself and then try to prepare not uh, like prepare because of the force that Uh, the VLSI is trending, so just prepare for the VLSI. I'll not say that. I'll say that first of all, understand. If you are uh, really intrigued to understand this particular uh, domain, then only I'll say that uh, go for this particular field. So that that's that's what I say. So thank you, Shushi. Thank you so much for your time. All the best. Bye. Take care.